Hello everyone, my name is Tim Holt and I've been a AAS member since 2017. Today I'm going to talk to you quickly about Slack and how to get use it to get the most out of your American Astronomer Nautical Society meeting. This is the format of the program. Include, we'll start out with how to join Slack and installing it on your machine if necessary. Then we'll go through setting up your profile, how to use threads, each of the channel management options, how to use direct messaging, and then finally how to get help and harassment. So we'll start out with joining Slack and how to install. So you will have received an email address that looks something like this, joining your team on Slack for your specific at AAS meeting. And so you click in the middle there, the join now option, and this will bring up a web browser for the specific meeting. Now I've already signed into this particular one. So if we go to our web page, we enter in the email address. Now it's vitally important that you use the same email address that you were sent the invitation to. I know many of you have different email addresses, but please use the one that you registered for the specific meeting. And then the password that you set up. And this will take you to a web browser that looks like this. You can fully get the full experience using the web browser, but if you want to use a different device, you can also download it for Windows, Mac, and Linux, as well as there are specific apps for Android and iOS as well. Now, the way you access those is you just simply head to slack.com backslash download, and that'll take you to the specific software for your device. Now we'll look at how to set up your profile. So what we do is we take our mouse and we go to the top right hand corner there, click on that little button and go down and edit profile. So the first thing we do is the display name. Highly recommend you put in your pronouns as you would at a conference. What I do, I am currently a PhD candidate. And so that's, you can put whatever you want in there. You can also put your affiliation. Then you can also upload an image, whatever you want it to be. Personally, I'm going to use a portrait. There we go. And don't forget to save those changes. Now you'll have that portrait with your photo as well as your information there. Next, we're going to talk about threads. Threads are the main way that you communicate. So you've got all these channels here. We'll talk about those in a second. I'll just go down to help desk just for a second, for a moment here. And so it's to send a message to the specific channel. is another demonstration and that puts it in the main channel thread. Now in order to keep things collective what you then do is you move the mouse over here over it so if you want to respond to somebody else's or continue a information thread you need to reply in thread so you just click that one there. This is a reply and that contains the information within that specific thing. You can also respond using specific reactions. For example, a smiley face. 
and there's a whole bunch of astronomical ones in there as well. Now you have all of these channels on the sidebar here. Each of the specific sessions has a number corresponding to it. So 300 there would be the first one on the third day of the specific conference. Now there's a lot there and there's actually some additional ones in the browse channels option there. So you can filter that by hiding the ones you've already joined. And so there's a couple of extra ones. There's something on the Nancy Romain telescope. And there's some specific splinter cells. So some splinter group projects. So let's, let's join one of those. Let's join the closing remarks session. So you get this pop up here. You can make sure that it's the right one for you. There'll be, there should be a description out there. Simply join channel. And then that'll be there in your side list. Now there's two different ways that we can manage all this. The first way is using start the star option. So I'm particularly interested in this particular one. So I just move my mouse up here to the topic and you can just star the channel. So we'll star that one. We'll also star, there's a whole bunch of exhibitors as well. So let's say we, we're particularly interested in talking about the ADS. So let's star that channel. So all the exhibitors have an EXB on them. And when we go up to the top of our channel, you ha now have your starred channels there. That way you can highlight the particular channels that you're interested in without having to look at each of them. Now, when something new comes up on a channel, it'll have a white option there. So it'll highlight that one. So that particular channel, for example, has a, some, a discussion going on. Another way we can manage these channels is to actually add a section. So we can create a new section. Let's call this one Splinter. splinters. And then what we'll do is instead of that being in start, we'll just drag and drop that down into there. I can also drag and drop between specific areas. And that way I can, you, we can um, easily manage our time here and, and highlight the channels that are important to each individual person. Direct messaging. So direct messaging is the way that we interact with specific people. So for example, here is Elizabeth right down the bottom here in the direct messaging section. I've been talking, yeah, Elizabeth sent me a message saying, hi, Tim, thanks for joining. And I sent back no worries. So this is a, rea a way to communicate specifically with people. And to do to access that, we just pass our mouse over this direct messaging bit hit the plus sign and then type the name of a person and you can go in and start direct messaging them. Now this can be quite a complicated system. So there is a, if you look right down the bottom here, there is a help desk. And that is a place where you can ask questions and be able to get help with Slack and the rest of the conference. Following on from this, harassment is a vital part or well, a vital part of preventing harassment is you know, included within this. We treat Slack as, as a workspace and we take all forms of harassment seriously. And there will be a report harassment channel. So this is a 
one place where you can get information about harassment at the AAS. We want everybody to have a fun and engaging meeting and this is a way for you to engage with this if you have any reports of harassment no matter what level. So thank you all for listening to this tutorial. Again if you have any questions please feel free, please feel free to ask. There is the help desk and there will also be a moderation team at each individual AAS meeting. Thank you all.